Hello and welcome to Crystal Crafts with Dee. Today I'd like to show you a couple of diamond dots, diamond paintings, ones that I've done and one that I'm about to start doing. So this dove one was the very first diamond painting I ever did and once I did that I was absolutely hooked. So I just wanted to show you that it's absolutely gorgeous, beautiful shine. So that's the first one I ever did. Moving right along, I want to show you a diamond dots called Muzzle Nuzzle. And I, yes, I do have two of them. So I wanted to show you what the canvas looked like as well as the finished product. So the canvas, the actual design size is 42 by 47 centimeters. It is a full drill, full round drill. And I just, I think this is absolutely stunning. Um, absolutely love this. So I thought I'll just show you the canvas and then I'll show you the finished product. And then at the end of this video, I will show you it framed. So stay tuned for that one. But anyway, this is just absolutely gorgeous. It has 24 colors in it. And the, the drill field is just easy to see it's just gorgeous oops absolutely beautiful so yeah full drill that one so I have actually completed my first one so I'll show you what that looks like done so that's it completely finished covering off yeah. okay so that's a finished product it just like I said absolutely stunning I mean look at that is that just gorgeous or what and diamond dots I must admit they are my absolute favorite diamond paintings to do I get my diamond dots Diamond paintings here in Australia, I get them from a company online called uh, dotsdirect.com.au. He's really, really good to deal with. And the reason why I have two of these diamond paintings is because the first one that I got had uh, some of the threads from the canvas stuck across the um, drill field on the sticky canvas bit. So... I rang him up and I said, oh, yeah, we've got a um, little bit of a problem here. And he said, look, no problem at all. He sent out the replacement, a completely replacement kit to me right away. And I got it in four days. And, yeah, he was really, really good to deal with. So cannot recommend them enough. They're so good. So anyway, that was my finished product on this one. And like I said, I'll be um, showing a, a photograph of that framed at the end of this video so moving right along I have <clears throat> I will be working on this one so this one here is called blue hyacinth macaws it is a partial round drill diamond painting it has 19 colors and the design size is 52 by 37 centimeters so I'll just bring that up a little bit closer so you can have a look at the drill field. I love the symbols that they use. I love the drill field. I think they're just fantastic. And the glue, like that's quite dark, the symbols, but I'll be using a light pad anyway. But anyway, I'll bring that up so you can have a look. Isn't it gorgeous? just beautiful and the colors are really bright like they just pop off the page so there's your printed bit in the background very nice and yes the glue always good very very good quality and what I love about diamond dots too is that their canvas is just it's just nice to work with and they have this beautiful scalloped edge just gorgeous so I'll show you the drills 
So I'll flip, flip them over and get into those grills. So the drills, oh, we've got a runaway drill. So Diamond Dots drills, they are uniformly cut. The facets, facets, the facets are really well done and they've got beautiful shine. And they're just gorgeous. Oh, I have another one. Oh my God, oh my God, drills everywhere. So who sprung a leak? Well, they're dark blue, so one of these ones sprung a leak. Anyway, so I'll give you a close up on those drills. So we've got some blues. Let's see if I can get some of that shine to happen. Gorgeous colors. Get some yellows. Pretty. Nice guys. And you got your, your beiges. Oops. So they'll be coming up pretty darn nice. Always happy with my diamond dots. Good company, good quality. So there you have it. So I will be showing you my works in progress with this one right through to the final product and I will give you my review at the end and we will see how this comes up but I think this is going to come up absolutely gorgeous so stay tuned and we will see how we go. Okay, so I finished my blue macaws. Jeez, didn't that come up good? It just is stunning. It's so vibrant. It's just beautiful. Absolutely love this. I love the background. I love the drills. As I've said many times before, I love diamond dots. It is such a joy to work on their canvases. Uh, the drills and the glue were, were fantastic, as you'd expect and it didn't take me long to whip this one up absolutely love doing it it is a lot of blue so i probably won't be doing much blue for the you know not too distant future but um i reckon this came out so beautifully and i love how the um the feathers the distinction in the feathers came out and the beaks as well i love the beaks they look gorgeous so i'll just zoom in a little bit so you can have a bit of a sticky beak at those drills I mean look at that shine and the colors absolutely gorgeous it's just beautiful absolutely love it a lot of definition on this one zoom in back out again very very happy with my blue hyacinth macaws just gorgeous so this one i won't be framing but i will be uh sealing it and putting my black tape around the edges and putting it in my display book so i'll show a picture of that at the end of this video all taped up and ready to go so um yeah that was my beautiful macaws love 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 doing that one so i'll just show you the drills and what I had left over. So with these drills, 
normally I do not have a lot of reject drills with diamond dots. I did have a few this time around. If I can get it to focus. I did have a few and it was mainly one particular color. I don't know why, but they had little furry edges and they were just getting in my way and annoying me, but it's, it's quite unusual to have that many drills that were not suitable. So I'll just show you how many drills were left. They give you a lot left over. Heaps and heaps. Just loved them, loved the colors. And I think the color that gave me the most trouble was, where are we? Tea. But there was still heaps to choose from, so it wasn't really a big deal. Yep, lots of colors left over. Chuck them over there. Lots and lots. So I'll flip them back over. Oops. Here we go, my blue hyacinth macaws. Love doing this, I love diamond dots. It was so much fun to do this one and um, I think it turned out beautifully. So, yep, like I said, be sealing them up, taping it up and uh, popping it in my display book. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching my video and uh, I'll be doing a quite a few more diamond dots pretty quickly. So watch out for those ones um, until then. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching Crystal Crafts with Dee. Bye!